Did somebody say Snoop D O double G? Here we are, and it's finally season three of Modern Warfare 3. And I gotta say, I love the whole switch up. You know, they're going for like a bluish tint this season. The background of the main menu is blue. The little label for season three is blue. They didn't come over to the battle pass, and it's all blue. Anyways, as always, before we actually dive into the game, I'll just kind of, you know, highlight some of the important stuff here in the battle pass as we kind of browse through it. So they have three new weapons of the game, those being the FJX Horus, as well as the Moors from Advanced Warfare finally making its return. And then we also have the Gladiator Melee weapon. Weapon. So in total, we have three new weapons in the battle pass, which is the most I believe that we've ever seen in a season. We also have the classified tier, obviously, as always, for like the reloaded event that'll be happening in 27 days. As soon as you buy the battle pass, you also get access to Snoop Dogg as well as a skin for Makarov. And once you complete the battle pass, you get the Hush Operator as well as the Fenrir skin for Makarov, which, yeah, no matter how you go for it, whether it be the Black Cell or the normal variant. See, my favorite colors are black and red, so I would actually probably rock just the original Fenrir variant. But if you pay for the black cell, then you get, you know, like the black and gold variant that they always do for black cell. So, you know, that looks pretty cool. They also have like the exclusive black cell tier as always, where you get this stasis black cell skin. And yeah, dude, this actually looks insane. You also get the all that glitters black cell variant, 1100 COD points, the double barrel disrespect execution. Unfortunately, we can't preview uh, executions anymore for some reason, as well as the aggressive action equipment skin. Personally, I will not be buying the black cell battle pass. The only black cell battle pass that I've ever purchased was the season one battle pass but even then i did not actually purchase it i only had it because i pre-ordered the vault edition of the game and therefore they just kind of give it to me for free we also have a bunch of new maps in the game we have grow house 24 7 coming in a week i don't know why it's not just available now in the game you would think that they would want us to be able to play all the new maps but you know it is what it is we also have emergency 24 7 as well as six star 24 7 so first we're going to dive into emergency this is essentially like you know your shipment stash house stash house what, what that kind of map it's also worth noting with the new season comes a brand new like eight week long long camo grind to go for this being for the allegiances camo basically to unlock this all you need to do is complete like any of the five challenges from the sets of weekly challenges for each of the eight weeks and you know that's really easy to do and you don't need to like pop back in to do it every single season by any means you can literally just wait until week eight and then go through and grind out all eight weeks of challenges which would not be hard to do. The challenges are very easy, as you can see, no matter what mode you go with. Also, you may be looking at this and wondering, wait, did Grotesque actually play Warzone for once? And yes, I actually did. I dived into Rebirth for a bit since they brought that back. And honestly, yeah, I don't know. Like, I was I was having fun running around looting stuff and running around on Rebirth again. But that's mainly just because it makes me think of Alcatraz from, like, you know, the original Call of Duty Battle Royale. That being, you know, Blackout and Black Ops 4. But furthermore, it takes me even further back than that to, like, Mob of the Dead from Black Ops 2 just because, you know, it's like Alcatraz. And for anybody that knows me, Black Ops 2, that's my favorite Call of Duty of all time. Anyways, here we are on Emergency, and like I said, this is essentially like your shipment slash stash house slash dash house type map if you open up the time map. Yeah, like, this map is ridiculously small. Granted, unlike a lot of those other maps, there actually is a bit of, like, verticality to this map. Granted, the verticality is rather limited, but, like, if you go in the center of the map here where the hard point is, I don't know if I'll actually be able to get in here because it seems like everybody's being a little sweaty, but, it, you know, if you, if you look up there, if you're able to see, like, you know, there's, like, a little wind window hole up there where you can kind of like sit and watch over the hard point again it's kind of hard to show off because everybody's in ultra sweat mode since the season first started but yeah you kind of like jump up on the desk climb up here and then you kind of just like watch them from the vent up here at this point i don't even care about winning the match i'm just gonna hold down the hard points and you know play the objective the best that i can it's also worth noting that one of the uh rotation spots is here in the bathroom and yeah you can literally just like sit on the toilet it's uh yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm in my 20s, yet I still find the things humorous that I did when I was like four years old. Look at that dude, he's sitting on the sink over there. Eh, never mind, I got bopped. I just realized that the toilets are actually destructible too. As soon as that guy shot me, like the toilet seat and the toilet lid and everything just flew off. Like I said, I'm doing my best here, but every everybody's just sweating so hard right now. Like every time a new seat, like when the season reloaded updates drops, people are usually sweaty then. But when it comes to like new season time, nah, it's insane. It's one of those things where it's like, yeah, you know, I'll play, I'll get my weekly challenges done, but after that, I'm probably just gonna dive into zombies to get my battle pass leveled up and stuff i'm just i'll wait like a week until all the sweats leave and go back to like whatever other games they play when they're not sweating on cod it's like yes if i wanted to i could sweat that hard and i would be able to compete with them it's just i don't want to why should i sit here breaking my fingers rustling my controller and like you know so like what what's the end goal i mean it's a 10 minute match of hard point nobody's gonna care about this in five minutes i mean if it was the cdl and a million dollars was on the line then yeah sure maybe but why does everybody play every 
single match of Call of Duty like that. Like, yeah, sure, y'all see me run around slide canceling sometimes, but it's not even like I'm trying to have a competitive edge. I just do it because, you know, I have, like, ADHD and OCD. The ADHD side of me needs, you know, like, I just, I need to be doing something with my fingers. So, you know, I'm sitting there slide canceling, satisfying that side of my mind, but then the OCD side of my mind says, hey, you know, you need to slide cancel a certain amount of times for my OCD to be satisfied. Like, if I don't sit there and slide cancel at least, like, five times back to back to back, then my OCD is going to be annoyed, but then I need to, like, slide cancel another five times to satisfy my OCD again. So it's just kind of this constant feedback loop of, like, well, I'm just running around and slide canceling now. I should probably see a doctor, but I'm not that worried about it. I'm doing my best. I'm holding down this hard point. You know, I'm shooting people if they come close, but, like, man, like, this is just ridiculous. I don't know. Do y'all get the gist? Do y'all kind of see what's happening with this map? Is it cool if we just kind of leave and go to six star now? Yep. Okay. Yeah, like I said, there is another playlist coming out for Grow House at some point. I really don't understand why it's not in the game. Like, when new content drops, I just want to play the new content. There's also a Godzilla X Kong Battle for Hollow Earth event starting soon, and if you look at the thing here, yeah, it's just one of the, it's not one of those cool ones where you can go through and grind out challenges. You gotta go in and just kind of mindlessly grind out XP till you complete it, which I, this is what it is. I won't lie, there's some really sick looking skins here. Y'all may not know this about me, but ever since I was a kid, I've always loved Godzilla and King Kong. So like, I don't know, man, some of these skins are calling my name, but uh, I'm not gonna give in. I bought one bundle this year, but even then the bundle that I bought, I did not actually buy with real money. Again, that was just one of those things where I pre-ordered the vault edition of the game. Therefore, I got the Black Cell Battle Pass and the Black Cell Battle Pass spoils you in COD points. And therefore I had a bunch of random COD points I was just sitting on. So I just used my excess COD points that I, you know, cause I like mapped it on my head i was like okay i'm gonna need to save this many for the next battle pass and then i realized oh i still have like over 2,000 some cod points so i just spent it on a bundle the only bundle i actually ever like actually spent money on was ghost face back in black ops cold war just because i mean like you know that was when like bundles were still kind of relatively new sure we had them in mw 2019 but that was the second year of them i was like all right look it's ghost face so then i went for it but i haven't bought any bundles since anyways here we are in six star and it seems like this is one of those maps where like they just kind of cranked up the saturation like even looking at borealis camo which is like even brighter and more vibrant on this map but uh yeah we got domination here and this map it's definitely a bit bigger Oh my gosh, that was perfect. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, that was actually my first time seeing that. That was beautiful. But this map is definitely more of like your traditional, like whatever, you know, this isn't like, this. like one of those maps that I say gives you the shipment brain. Don't get me wrong, I love those small maps as much as the next guy, but yeah, dude, playing those maps for too long, you won't get that shipment brain. And I must say, I kind of like playing maps like this because like, it's one of those things where like, sometimes it can either elevate the, the sweats or it can make it not as bad. It, it really just depends on the map and the circumstance. But it's also one of the situations where like the map is so new that not everybody has like had the time to learn the map yet not everybody is like sweating super hard they don't know all the routes and spots and stuff like that so it's like it's still a relatively chill experience you do still got dudes running around with their knives and cdl skins and stuff but like you know you can still chill out on this map for now i love when they do this in call of duty maps so you have like a bunch of like different routes you can take around the map like right here you got this ventilation shaft which leads all the way back over here which leads like kind of like right into the spawns you gotta like sneak in like oh i got you got another dude spawning in back here oh wow hey, teammate stealing my kill are you serious dude he literally i don't know where he came from. he just like where did you come from Thank you. I'll take your life, please. Thank you. I don't want to die. I'm dead. I have a mosquito drone. You see, they had that one thing, that one challenge or event or whatever, where you could use like mosquito drones or remote turrets to get the one challenge done. And I forgot to change it. I'm still rocking these terrible scrolls. I got to change it back. I, I, I was not expecting to actually get a kill with that, but okay. Usually I run UAV, counter UAV, and uh, Overwatch Halo. Very helpful streaks that don't require me to like leave the battlefield, if that makes sense. Like it supports my team, the Overwatch Halo gets me more kills. I like to stay on the battlefield because as deadly as some of those other streaks can be like chopper gunners and stuff like that, you know, when you have to uh, lose control of like your actual player, sometimes that can lead to you dying some more, which... Yeah, you know, like, KD doesn't matter in these games, but, you know, I, I, I'm i from the old school days of COD, right? Like, I still like trying to die as least as possible. Again, it would probably be better if I did die more often, though, just so then, like, the SBMM would be like, hey, you know what, let's give him some easier lobbies or just more chill lobbies. And, like, I don't need my lobbies to be easier. Like, I don't mind fighting people at my same skill level. I just want them to chill out sometimes. Sure, I get competitive. Like, if a match is real close and it's, like, I don't know, like, 190 to 180 on domination, yeah, dude, I'm gonna go a 
little crazy for those final seconds, but like the entire match, every single match for the entire time that I play, like, yeah, no. One thing I must say about this game so far, though, like, I don't know who is in charge of like the art design or like who's coming up with like the concept art and stuff like that over at Sledgehammer. But between like the initial concept art up until the time that it actually makes it into the game, all of the artists at Sledgehammer are absolutely wonderful because to come up with a concept like this in the first place or like, you know, like the artistry behind this place in the first place, like that takes some skill. And then converting it into the game and making it this look beautiful. This look beautiful. Look this beautiful. Dude, I, my brain just doesn't work. There's just so many layers of skill there. Like Modern Warfare 3 is some absolutely gorgeous um, maps. And yeah, okay. And honestly, all the original maps that they've had in this game, not only do they all look amazing, like I think like uh, Greece and then this one and Vista and Rio and all that, like just the maps, not only do they look amazing, but they all flow like really great. This seems to kind of be like Sledgehammer's things. I remember a lot of maps in Advanced Warfare kind of follow the same theme where they're very like, I uh, vacationy retreat feeling almost like when you think of Rio Vista and this map, they all have that like vacation kind of like chill out vibe. You know what I mean? And it, it, they, we saw a lot of that stuff in Advanced Warfare. We're seeing it here in Modern Warfare Three. That's not a complaint by any means. I love those maps. I love maps like this. They look great. They play great. They feel chill, as chill as they can feel, considering you know the CDL one of these. But all in all, between all the new content, the maps, the stuff in Warzone, the stuff in multiplayer, and all the content in zombies, like this is genuinely a great season. I'm loving it. So I mean, I know it has even been out for like a full day. Well, at the time of recording this, it hasn't been a full day yet, but you know, I'm genuinely enjoying it. I wonder if we'll see any more weapons from Advanced Warfare coming to the game. Obviously, we had the Moors and all that join in this season. Like, if we could see like the ASM-1 and the Val-27, dude, I would love that. Bell is good. Bell is good, dude. dude that just set a storm and nostalgia through my mind right there, dude. Oh my gosh, that, that takes me back. Dude, this is what I'm talking about. I'll start playing a little competitive right now, because we're up like 171 to 147. The tables could flip yet, but you know, I'm, I'm gonna work with my team. We're gonna cap all the objectives, and we're gonna win this thing just you wait i'm so proud of my team we're, we're doing pretty good so far so i'll oh, wait oh my wait hold up am i am i about to pop off okay this, i don't even know what's going on sometimes i get into those situations where like i'm close to death and then my brain kind of just stops working you think it would be the reverse like when you're close to death your brain would be like all right this is when we start working this is when we start making sense but usually for me it's the exact opposite and there it is there's the victory but anyways yeah there it is there's the new season and battle pass and all that and yeah i'm genuinely enjoying it i'm just gonna continue to grind out the new content get interstellar and borealis on the new weapons and yeah but anyway as always master shot nothing at all the page on channel remember to it all in the low ball tier and remember to shot nothing at all in the mid ball tier my last can be dad man in the big shot i think all in the gt but event so much cheese girl thank you guys so much you guys are literal legends i love you thank you guys for watching have an amazing day stay beautiful i love you all peace